Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now in this one we're going to be working on the N52 powered BMW 130i. Now hopefully we are going to be getting to the bottom of this coolant leak. So I have this to install today. If you don't know where this is on the car, essentially this is a flange for the coolant hose that goes from the cylinder head down to the thermostat. Now these are prone for failing the original is plastic obviously this is an aluminium replacement the original is plastic and they they quite literally just fall apart now mine hasn't got to that point yet but i know that the o-ring that sits on here has pinched and i'm hoping that that is the core that that is the cause for our coolant leak if it isn't then i have no other clue i really do not know um where this coolant is coming from but yeah hopefully it does fix it and uh, we can be done with this whole saga but yeah without further ado let's get outside and let's get cracking okay then so here we have the n52 engine of course and let me show you where that coolant flange is located so it is located right next to the oil filter housing so it's just here it's held in by two 10 millimeter bolts now you don't need to but just so I can show you guys a bit better I'm going to remove this front air intake here and this cover here for the oil cooler this just pops off. Let's get this out of the way, let's get this unscrewed and we can see a little bit better then. So these four screws are just T20 screws, Torx 20. Be able to pop this out so it from here there we are like I said remove the oil cooler cover there we go we can get in here a bit better now now I think this is where our coolant is leaking from I definitely do think we have a leak from here so I think it's leaking from underneath and then I think it's running right along the head gasket itself because I can see the head gasket is wet and then having a look down here there is a few drops of coolant and I believe it's running all the way down there onto the AC compressor and then eventually down onto the water pump and I think that's why it looks like my coolant is leaking from above the water pump I think it's just leaking from here and running down along and straight down but yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. So as you can see, I've removed those two 10 millimeter bolts, came out nice and easy. And I also have unhooked the hose itself from the two brackets, just so it gives me a little bit more wiggle room. Now it's just gonna be a case of prying this out of the cylinder head of course we are going to have some coolant leak down ideally you should you know drain your coolant first but i've drained it that many times that i do not want to do it once more so i'm just going to try and uh, catch as much as i can in a container down there and uh, and then and then i think we'll go from that we shouldn't be losing too much because it is only the cylinder head the majority of the coolant will be in the block and in the radiator of course but yeah let's go ahead and pry that out Okay, there we go. Yeah. Not too much coolant came out there. Do have a container to catch the majority of it. It's not too bad. Guys, this has to be the cause of our leak. Take a look at the O-ring on this. Half of it's missing. How is that even possible? Like, where did the other half of the O-ring go? That is crazy. Okay then, so to remove this plastic flange, I'm going to have to cut the factory clamp. But I need to be careful not to cut into the hose itself.
Okay then, so as we can see we have the original plastic flange now removed and yeah, it's looking a bit sorry for itself, isn't it? So what I'd done was partially cut through this clamp. I then attempted to cut through the flange itself because obviously I didn't want to cut through the pipe and then it all just kind of crumbled up and I could, you know, just remove it pretty easily then. But uh, yeah, I guess this was only a matter of time before it failed anyway. Luckily though, found the other part of the O-ring, so that hadn't gone into the cooling system. Obviously uh, fished out all the broken pieces as well. And uh, I've went ahead and installed the new O-ring to the aluminium flange, just put a bit of uh, red rubber grease on there just so it slots into the cylinder head a little bit easier. But yeah, this thing is now ready to be installed. Okay, so hopefully this should just slide into place. He says. Now let's tighten down the two 10 millimeter bolts. Not gonna go crazy with these. I'm just going to torque them down to 10 newton meters. Sorted. Now I can go ahead and slide the hose back over with our new hose clamp, of course. I'm just tighten down the hose clamp. And there we are then. That is the hose clamp tightened down nice and tight. I'm just going to pop the hose back into these brackets. There we are. And now I'm going to top the coolant up make sure that we don't have any leaks. So as you can see I've topped up the coolant to the max mark and now I'm going to start the coolant bleeding procedure. And to do that you need to get in the car, put the key in the ignition, ignition on, make sure that your fans are on and the heat is on full. And then you want to step on the accelerator pedal for 10 to 15 seconds. And you should hear the electric water pump kick in. As you can see, the coolant level has dropped, so we will need to add more coolant. But right now, the air is being bled out the system. But with the cooling system under pressure, can't see any leaks from here, so we're looking good. Okay then guys, so I put everything back as it should be. Fired the engine up and could not see any leaks, so I'm hoping that this has fixed the coolant leak once and for all. I mean, I guess I'm really not gonna know until, you know, a couple of days time, because it's always been the case that I've thought that I've fixed the coolant leak, you know, I can't see any dripping of any kind, and then a couple of days later, I look underneath the car, and there's a puddle of coolant. So, yeah, we are just gonna have to wait and see a few days, I guess, but I really do think that we have cracked it this time, because the fact that we physically saw that the O-ring had completely failed is giving me a lot of confidence, you know, where we replace the you know likes of the water pump the thermostat various different hoses we replace those because that's where we thought the leak was coming from we couldn't really see anything too wrong with them um but this time obviously 
the o-ring was completely shot so yeah i am pretty confident that this has now fixed it and if it if it has genuinely fixed it then it means that we can start to move on with this project now i have a bunch of things lined up for this car and you know it's definitely going to mean that i can move ahead i really didn't want to you know start doing a bunch of other jobs while we still had this coolant leak because you know it could have been something like a cracked engine block for all i knew um so obviously it wasn't going to be worth putting more time and effort into the car if you know it needed a new engine for example so yeah the coolant leak hopefully is fixed now and we can move on to do some other things but um yeah guys if you own an n52 engine or an n51 n54 n53 engine for that matter it's definitely worth replacing this coolant flange it's a very very common issue you can either replace the whole entire hose which bmw sell or you can go ahead and upgrade the flange and know that it's never going to fail again but yeah i would recommend paying some attention to this part uh, i will leave a link down in the description box below if you do want to purchase yourself one as well and uh, yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so and i'll see you all in that next one peace